what we read of here in 1 Corinthians 15 is this. <clears throat> when Adam sinned, he fell. And Romans chapter 8 describes what happened. He fell and the whole creation had to come down around his ears because a fallen head could not rule over an unfallen creation. So the whole creation was brought down. When the Lord Jesus came, his purpose in coming down was to put everything back in place, which had the family business had fallen into disarray through no fault of his own. He came to restore that which he took not away and to put everything back in place. The last thing to be put in place is that old enemy death, the last enemy which is going to be dealt with once and forever. So the Lord Jesus is in the process of doing that. He humbled himself, submitted himself to the Father, <clears throat> and the Father entrusted to him all authority. And so the Lord Jesus came down, humbled himself, took on the family business, and said in his own words, I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. However, we see not yet all things put under him. There is a process. That process was prophesied in the words of the psalmist when he said, Son, sit here at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. That period is still going on right now. His enemies have not yet been made his footstool. When at last all is put under God, as we read here, he must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet. He is sitting now not on his own throne, but on his father's throne until everything is put back in place. He's, he's finished the work at Calvary necessary to accomplish this. The devil has been knocked from his horse. His crown is in the dust. He has bruised the serpent's head. The devil is in his death throes. There is a day coming when at last the whole thing will be settled. The last act will be for the Lord Jesus then to submit himself to the Father for one last audit. That's what we have in this passage. He will, he will submit himself to the Father. The Father will examine all that the Son has done. And so Paul says, when it says that all things are put under him, it's obvious there's one exception. And the one exception is the one who has put all things under him the Lord Jesus himself. So the Lord Jesus will take one last step of self-humbling in, in presenting the whole process to his Father for the final audit. The final audit will be taken. God will be completely satisfied with what the Son has done. And then he will say to the Son, sit on your own throne. And the Lord Jesus, a real man, will ascend the steps to his own throne. And as he sits down upon that throne, the cry will go out, Jesus Christ is Lord. And every knee will bow. And every tongue will confess in acknowledgement that Jesus has done this. He has put everything back in place so that Adolf Hitler and, and Muhammad and the Buddha and the devil himself will get on both their knees. I don't think they'll be forced to. Personally, God has gone to a lot of effort not to force people to do anything. I think they will become, they will be overwhelmed with the fact, the incontrovertible fact, and they will say, he won. He won. And every knee will, will bow and every tongue for one moment in history Every God-conscious creature will fulfill the purpose for which they were created to the glory of God the Father. <laughs> I can hardly wait for the day. <laughs>